it! He got it! Yes! Do that, do that. Go down and cover it. Come on! Yeah. Oh, you know we jumped in here. So I started off on a BMX and then I was just, I, really, I didn't really like love bikes that much until I was watching YouTube and I saw bikers and I thought, and I was wheeling and I thought maybe I could do that. So then I bought a Carrera Falcon and then started on there. Had that for a year and then I got this one, Carrera, and then now I do wheelies every day. I'm going to learn tricks and stuff and maybe it'll go further. Do that. So I've been on a BMX and then I used to watch like YouTube and that like people going to the skate park and dirt tracks and then I used to do that and I used to go dirt, tr um, dirt track and skate parks but I never used to do that much because I never used to like know that much tricks and then I saw Ted and Ollie and they used to be like really and all that stuff and then I've been wanting a, bit, um, a mountain bike and then I've been wanting to like try and really and do more tricks like how they do. And then every Saturday we all go to like ride outs. Hey, oh, hey, oh. Yeah. 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 So um, I like I I used to just sit in all day, and then I saw um, him in Balaam in the leisure centre, and then it all started off from there. I saw him on his bike. He came around my house on his bike, and then I had like the worst Carrera you could ever see. And then I started trying to learn on that, and then after that I bought um, my bike there, and then I started just practicing every day, and then after that I learned how to do all the tricks that I can do now, and it just it's just gonna carry on from there. Um, so me, like, the same as him, I started off on a BMX, um, yeah, it was like an amical, really rubbish, and then I was just in my house, and I saw these lot outside with his brother, and then there was like, knocked on my door and was like, I come outside, bring your bike, and I didn't know what was going on, so I came outside, bring my bike, and I just saw them doing wheelies, and I tried wheeling on my BMX, and they was like, oh, no, no, get a mountain bike, get a mountain bike, so, uh, bought that for 150 and then ever since then I've just been on it trying to do more tricks and more skills. Oh, oh. oh look and we've got the River Thames here going through East London. Yes. Does it go through East London? I don't look at this. Yeah. Look. Oi, oi, oi. The funny thing to make sure you say uh, the um, yeah. She says anything you want, she's a victim. <laughs> Bikes is kind of everything life is for electronic gear system system. UK bike. Bikes innovate kids everyday lives in Furious East End. Bikes in Keaton's everyday life is fun. East London. Go for the big and bright and 
Instagram, big underscore and underscore bright reflective clothing, custom clothing, reflective bright stickers, customize your own reflective clothing, you want your own name, your own custom stickers, go follow them Instagram, go check their website. It's all cheap too, it's good it's good Great pricing, drink. good pricing to get out of yeah. yeah They don't know what we are like. When we go out on bikes, we don't do it to do some stupid things or do stupid, like, stupid shit. The thing is, we do it because it helps us get away from gangs and crime and violence. We don't do it to keep us going on bikes. I mean, we do it as a community. It's nothing like stupid. We're all in one community. Like, what? We all stick together. And the reason we ride bikes and everything is because we always stay at gangs. I'm on Bukira and I like to post videos on Instagram of me um, like wheeling doing tricks. I come to London like every Saturday to ride with I don't know like my mates from like all different areas here, yeah? not all of these. Um, I ride bikes because it, it don't know, it makes me happy. Like if I, if I didn't have my bike here, yeah, then I'd I don't know what I'd do. Just like a bike makes me happy. Do it for a living, like I do it, I post my things on Instagram. I have five, I have like five thousand followers for it. And yeah, like like, I, I, people inspire me, like, I got inspired by someone called Jake 100, yeah? I watched him on, I watched him on YouTube, and then I thought, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go try wheelies, so I tried it, and then I've come far.
uh, this is a bite check. I'm gonna show some of my bite. If we start off, we have grenades as dust caps. You can get them from Halfords. Uh, the wheels are 27.5. They're stock wheels, but they come fat. And then on the actual rim itself, the spokes, um, they have spoke skins, orange, because it matches the color scheme. And then disc brakes, eight gears, and three cogs. It's got some normal clear seat. Everything's stock on it, apart from the grips as well. These are in that custom. They're orange, getting them from Amazon. Uh, yeah, that's it really. So we're gonna be doing a bike check on the GT BMX. So we have the rocket dust caps. You can get them from Halfords. Then you've got the Maxis hookworm tires. They're usually built for us like swerving when you're wheeling. And then you've got the Mongoose seat with the GT frame and the GT forks. And then you have the GT tyres um, with the same rocket dust caps. And then you've got the GT pedals. And then you've got the custom handlebars with just normal grips. One tip that I found out is you need to find the right gear to wheel in. And you, you definitely need a back brake because if you go too far, you need the brake. Yeah, definitely need some brakes. Um, I never had a back brake. Uh, not even a tip on anything like just like a bit of back brakes. Like uh, we all have hydraulics, I think, and disc brakes. Uh, like there's different types of brakes. There's like V brakes, mechanical. Uh, personally, That's I think. This. Yeah, personally, I think my uh, hydros are the best. Personally, just because I have them and. When you're wheeling, you want to try to find a balance point so you're not like using your back brake too much because then there'll become a point where your fingers get tired and stuff. So like, you don't really want to like sweat the technique. The technique needs to be easy, and that's my tip. One thing that you definitely like need to be able to do is that because if your handlebars are too far to the side, you're going to start leaning to the side, and then so you need to learn to like keep your keep your arms straight and keep your balance. And one thing that's better is if you keep like your arms extended and fully out. Because if, if they're like bent in, you're gonna start, it's going to start pulling back on the bike. And if you, especially if you don't have a back brake, you're going to go too far back and then you're going to fall and it's going to hurt. So you need to learn how to keep balance and use your brake. Yeah, three key words. Balance, relaxing and brake. technique. Brakes. And brakes. Four. Four. Make, let's make it five. One more, one more. Five, innit? Uh, Hydro. Hy Hydro, that's it. That's it. Get yourself some... Go on, chain reaction, whatever. You need a bike for Chain reaction, cycles. Track cycles. Alan's BMX. Mm. You need you a need bike. Halfords, get a bike. Yeah. Halfords. You need a bike. I'll get you some discounts. So yeah, my I girlfriend has some discounts. I get discounts. <laughs>
Action. So how do you? <laughs> <laughs> like Jew, Isaac, Isaac. It's Isaac. Isaac, don't look at me.